Hey guys, hey, what's going on? Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Bad Beast Barbecue and Cooking Show. I'm your host, Daryl Smith, and today we're going to be looking at a new toy that we picked up off of QVC. And that's one of the hazards of sitting up late at night watching HSN or QVC is that you tend to buy something that you probably don't need. But we thought this was pretty cool. So, so we went on ahead and we purchased the uh, Cooking Essentials 5.3 quart air fryer. And we're going to be cooking some, uh, some meals and some recipes and doing some videos with this uh, bad boy over the next couple of weeks. Uh, since there's a 30 day return policy, if we don't like it or if it doesn't perform well, then we'll just box that bad boy up and ship her back. So, but, uh, um, you know, a lot of my YouTube compadres have been using air fryers. Uh, Fritz over at uh, Fritz's Cooking Again, um, Booger, she has a uh, cooking channel that uses an air fryer. Uh, cooking with Doug, uh, even my partner Lyle over at uh, No Hippie Barbecue, he uses an air fryer every now and then. So, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, and try this for ourselves now. Um, the uh, 5.3 quart cooking essentials air fryer is, is pretty cool according to the specs and then give you a few uh, it's a uh, 5.3 quart air fryer uh, with a non-stick basket 1700 watts of power it has six preset functions french fries chicken steak fish um, it has a 30 minute max timer you can always continue the timer uh, at the end if you have a long cook uh, LED display and it's supposed to be dishwasher safe so uh, if you look on QVC you have some remarks on there where some folks experiencing uh, excess smoke from it or the baskets not going in properly and things of that nature so uh, you know we had that problem initially but kind of figured out if you angle the basket slightly uh, downward um, it would go in smooth so but uh, what we're going to be uh, cooking today is we have a one and a half pound of pork tenderloin that we have and we're going to We've already have it uh, in, up at stairs in the uh, refrigerator marinating in some uh, Tony's uh, pork marinade. And it's a 30 minute marinade, but we're gonna let it marinate for a couple of hours so we can make sure that the flavor penetrates. And then we're going to season the outside of it with another spice from the good folks at the Spice House out of Chicago. This is uh, the West Indies barbecue seasoning. So this here has paprika, salt, sugar, Kanye, Kanye, Kanye pe pepper. I don't know how to pronounce that right. What's wrong with my tongue today? Uh, garlic, cinnamon, herbs, and some other spices. So we're going to dust this on top on the outside. And we're going to throw her in the air fryer. And we're going to see just what we uh, come up with. So, hey, don't go nowhere. Hang around. Uh, once the marinating is uh, done, we'll show you tossing it, us tossing in the air fryer and uh, how long we cook it for and the test, the taste test. Okay, so don't go nowhere. Okay, guys, so... Our pork tenderloin has been marinating for a total of three hours now. Then we're gonna go ahead and get this out of the Ziploc bag that we had it marinating in. All right. All right. All right. So, we'll go ahead and uh, just pat it dry to get some of that excess marinade off. All right. And now we're going to rub it down with our West Indies barbecue rub from the Spice House. So get it nice and coated well. Okay. Now remember, a tenderloin is a lean piece of meat, so it doesn't take as much time to cook as a normal pork shoulder or pork butt just because there's not any fat in it, okay? All right, we got it ready, so let's go ahead and put it in the basket. Okay guys, so here's our basket, all right? We got our inner basket, and what we're gonna do first is to avoid any uh, smoke or anything that may accumulate from grease uh, burning what little grease may come off of this pork loin. We're going to pour a tablespoon of water down in the bottom of our air cooker or air fryer. Okay then 
I'm going to take a um, a rack from this rack is from my pressure cooker and I'm going to put this down here to keep it off the bottom which will help a little bit more air circulate around okay all right and last but not least I'm going to put our pork loin in here sit just like that all right so now we're ready to get it into the air fryer all right, so we uh, let the um, pork tenderloin come to room temperature. We let it rest out here for about 15 minutes. Uh, now we're about to go ahead and, uh, and put it in the air fryer. So see if we can get this bad boy in here with no problem. See, went in, just lifted up a little bit and slid it in. That wasn't too bad. We're gonna power this bad boy on. Oh, be nice if I plug it in. Be right back. All right, now that we got it plugged in, let's go ahead and turn it on, all right? So we're going to power it on, and we're going to set our temperature to 360 degrees, and I'm sorry, yeah, 360 degrees, and we're going to cook this bad boy for 20 minutes. Now, we're going to be cooking for a temperature of 145 to 150 degrees, uh, and then we're going to let it rest with a little carryover, so here we go. So, see you in 20. Okay guys, so 20 minutes have passed at 360 degrees. Let's go ahead and check the internal temperature of our, Man, I know you can't see it, but So the internal temperature right now is 103, so it's nowhere near done. So we're gonna put this back in there. And actually it's uh, a little bit darker than I would have expected, but uh, there's a lot of juice coming out of it. So uh, let's go ahead and put this back in here. All right, and we're going to give it uh, 370 we'll give it another 15 minutes and we'll check it every five minutes until the internal temperature reaches 145 150 so don't go nowhere all right guys so we're back so the tenderloin cooked for a total of about 23 minutes got up to 145 150 degrees so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out now. For me, it got a little bit darker than I would have liked it to have been. Might be some ways around that. All right, but here's our tenderloin here. Go ahead and put this back here. All right, and so here we go. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna let this rest for a few minutes so that we don't cut it and all the juices run all over the bar, okay? And then we'll be right back. All right, we're back from the rest, and uh, there's a lot of juice underneath the pork tenderloin. Uh, we let it rest for about five, seven minutes or so, because uh, I wanted to go ahead and get this taste test done. Uh, like I said, we got it up to attention about 155, 157 degrees, um, and then we pulled it. Um, but I think it got there a little, little fast. Some of the edges are a little dark. Um, so what I would have probably done is maybe reduce the temperature of the cooker and extend the cooking time a little bit. So uh, I think just the direct flow of the air uh, on top of the pork loin probably darkened it a little bit more than I would have liked or that I'm used to, I should say, coming off a smoker, you know, or off pellet smoker or off of a UDS or a normal Weber kettle grill. Okay. But, um, you know. If it tastes good, then you gotta figure 28 minutes is not bad for a one and a half pound pork tenderloin and shrunk a little bit. But let's go ahead and, uh, and cut into this and see what we have. All right. So, let's turn it like this. All right. Now I can tell you one thing, it is moist. It is really moist and juicy. So, couple things that we got to test out here um, it did pass the moisture test that's for sure okay uh, we're gonna taste the 
uh, marinade and plus the uh, West Indies uh, barbecue rub okay so cut a small piece of this and it's still hot you can see the steam coming off of it okay smells great okay of course I got my blue moon here to quench my thirst so let's go ahead and have a taste test Mmm. Okay. Okay. First, you can't go wrong with any kind of Tony's marinade. That tastes great. And that West Indies barbecue uh, rub gave it a nice little kick on top. Very, very savory. Very juicy. Actually, I'm pretty pleased with this pork tenderloin that came out of the air fryer. Hmm. Bravo. I mean, his juice is running everywhere. You can take this and make a great sandwich out of it. So, um, excuse me for trying another piece. Oh, yeah. I won't even need any kind of sauce or anything with this. Slice this up and throw this on a plate with some vegetables or some uh, mashed potatoes, and I'm good to go. So, well, that's it. Uh, one thing I want to tell you is that a lot of the tips that I got came from uh, the Blue Jeans Chef, um, and I'll put her link down at the bottom. She has a air fryer cookbook that she's coming out. She was out on QVC, but if you go to her website, she has some great air fryer tips for everybody who bought one of these bad boys here. So go out there and check out her site and, uh, and see if she has any information to offer for you, okay? So uh, once again, I want to thank the folks out at the Spice House for the West Indies uh, barbecue rub. Check those guys out. Go to their website. They have hundreds upon hundreds of spices that you might love. Okay. And, uh, okay, pick it up a bottle of Tony's pork marinade. And remember, I marinated this one for two hours. So 30-minute marinades, to me, they don't penetrate the meat long enough. So you got to let it sit for a while. We did this one for uh, three hours, I believe. So, okay. Well, that's it. That's all we have time for this afternoon. Happy Halloween. And like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hmm. Ah. See you guys around the smoker. <laughs>